going on, everybody? Survival Islander is back with another video. Don't forget to join our Discord and Roblox group. Link for this will be in the description. So this video today is just going to be demonstrating a little something and showing you how to make your own combat system for your own games. So I ended up designing a little something here. I was just kind of fooling around, but the main point of what this is... is um, see, this is what I mean by combat. Be able to do stuff like that. So, why don't I just go ahead and get right into showing you how to do this. So, um, you're going to get your own template here in the video's uh, description. Uh, if you go up here, you're going to make a game. Make sure that uh, you have to publish it first, and then you can go down and click on the gear icon, go down to Avatar, uh, and then you can hit R6. Make sure it's at R6. This is an R6 combat. That's because it's easier. If you want to make your, if you want to have it R15, it is R15 capable. You just have to make your own animations using R15 rigs. So... Um, first what you're going to do is put these folders in their designated, um, these models in the designated areas. Just, and then ungroup them. Okay. So, for here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into each of these in their animation, in their anima saves, and you're going to save each one to your, um, like, to Roblox. So, you're going to right click on these blue squares and you're going to save to Roblox. We have an animation uh, video editor that sh uh, video that shows you how to do this prop more properly than what we're going to do here. Um, if you actually have any other questions, like you don't know how to find the ID or anything, please uh, post it in the comments below because you are going to need your own IDs. You cannot use ones that were already given. They will not work because you have to be the owner of the ID for it to work in your own game. Okay, so after you, and then when you have each of their IDs, you're going to want to copy and paste each ID down here into the combat script. So these, the hit animations here are the combos, so you can put them in all any order that you want, just make sure you put block here. The hit anims right here are the got hit, so if some, like when you, you get punched, like it's a knockback animation, so you can put those as ever you want, however you want here. And then afterwards, I'm going to go back into my previous game and I'll show you again how it works. Okay, so as I previously showed at the beginning of this video, the end result will look like uh, what I'm about to show you now. So with the combat, you can do things like this. It'll work on NPCs. And you can uh, put in order the way you want to do your combos. I just have mine set up in like the way of the two punches, the kicks, or whatever. So you can do whatever you want. Uh, if you got any other comments, questions, concerns, uh, please post down in the comments below. Uh, give us a like and a sub, and we will see you all again in our next posted videos.